Hi, this is uh, Paul. I want to make a video about a story that I, I, didn't, I guess I didn't read about. This happened, I think, about two days ago uh, in a bodega in New York. You know, bodegas in New York are like these little grocery stores that they have in mostly low-income neighborhoods, mostly for the most part. I mean, you can have a bodega, in, I guess, in a high-income neighborhood, too, but mostly it's known, I guess, in New York to have a lot of those bodegas. Um, usually, like, it's usually like an owner, you know, they have that, and they usually have workers that work for them, and, you know, they sell everything from fruit, uh, you know, ice cream, detergent, all that stuff. Just like a little mini store, basically. It's what it is. It's it's a store. But they, they call them bodegas because I guess that's the Spanish term for that. I don't know what the exact translation of that is. But, you know, they, you have them all around New York and stuff. And um, I'm sure they have them in other parts of the country. But New York is kind of famous for that, having those stores and stuff. And a lot of immigrants and a lot of, you know, they run these stores and stuff. And they, you know, they provide for their families and stuff. And it's really a nice you know, business that they have. And I really like, you know, these stores that they have here because, you know, the, for the most part, these people that run these stores are, they're immigrants and they're hardworking and they're, you know, they always, you know, provide, you know, they want to provide for their family and they're serving the neighborhood. So, you know, they're a good addition to the neighborhood. Okay. So there was a story, uh, I think the girl, some girl, I don't know what, what part of New York it happened in. Cause I just, I gl kind of glanced the story, but I got the gist of it. And I think she wanted to buy a bag of potato chips for her with her EBT card, and I think it got declined or something. And I guess she got a kind of an attitude, and she went and got her boyfriend. <laughs> and he came back, and he start, got into a fight with one of the workers behind. And he even went, I think, behind the register. <laughs> okay, and the and the and the, the the worker was defending himself because this guy, you know, went behind the counter and was attacking him. And so he defended him, and he wound up stabbing and killing the guy. And they charged him with, I think it was second-degree murder, which I think is ridiculous. And I think his bail, they put him on record, and I think his bail was like a quarter of a million dollars, and then they reduced it to, like, I think 50000 after people were rightly upset about it. They said, listen, this guy was defending himself. This guy was attacking him, okay? And I think there's some video of it as well that they played on on the news programs and stuff. And I'll, I'll link I'll link the uh, the video or, so, or the story in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But, again, a lot of people make videos about it and stuff, and I my feeling, too, is that people have the right to defend themselves. And... The very fact that this girl went and got a boyfriend over getting denied the ability to buy <laughs> potato chips, you basically got your boyfriend killed because you couldn't deal with the fact that you were denied, <laughs> that you couldn't afford to <laughs> buy a bag of potato chips. You really went and got your boyfriend because you felt insulted that you couldn't buy a bag of potato chips in the store. Okay, really, that just, first of all, that's, first of all, she said be locked up too as, as an accessory. Okay, she basically got her boyfriend killed. And if I was that, that family member, that idiot guy that basically got himself killed for this girl, you know, simping for this girl and and went to the store, okay, and he should have just went to the store. You know, you know how he should have handled it? He should have told her when she came to him whining ab about it. He said, "You are you whining about a bag of potato chips? Here, here's the potato chips. Don't bother me with such nonsense. Okay, but instead he wanted to be a man, right, and prove himself to her, okay, and start a fight which ended it, him dying, okay, which is on him. Okay, you start attacking somebody, that's on you. And people have the right to defend themselves. So I have zero sympathy for him. My heart only goes out to his family because they couldn't get to him to tell him. And he was actually one of those guys that, again, he was simping for this for this girl. And, and she and she has got to be the most horrific. What kind of human being are you going to get your boyfriend? And I've seen that happen, actually, uh, one other time in, in, in real life when I was uh, went to, like, the dollar store on... Um, and I think they had these kids, you know, the dollar store where people, you know, Dollar Tree store, one of those Dollar Tree stores. And the little kids were in the store. The lady was in the show stop and she had, a, she wasn't watching her kids. Her kids were basically running around the store, you know, playing, bouncing balls and stuff and the, playing with the toys and, and like playing with the toy in the aisle. And the guy was, I guess, one of the, you know, security guys or maybe the manager of that store was trying to tell them, listen, you can't, you know, you got to put the toys where you can't play with the toys in the store. You know, you either got to buy it or keep it moving. And she got all offended, <laughs> okay? And then you, you see her, I, you know, I was like on the line and you see her get all mad and she rushed out the store and I guess she, maybe her boyfriend was in the car and she went to the car and got him and then came back in the store with him, the big guy. And I didn't stick around to see what happened, although, because I think he called, the manager wound up calling the cops and I just said, let me get out of it. I don't want to be in the middle of this. But I can, I've seen, so I've seen people do this, girls do that, weaponize, basically weaponize their boyfriends to do stupid, to act stupid on their behalf for their honor, okay? And in this case, the dude wound up getting killed, okay? And it's definitely not worth it. And 
If I was that, that guy's family members, I'd be so pissed at her for getting him, for pumping him up to, to do something, okay? All this could have been avoided because you couldn't afford a bag of potato chips. Are you kidding? It basically cost this guy his life, okay? And I hope it's where I hope she's feeling horrible about this because this is ridiculous. You got somebody killed, okay, over basically a bag of potato chips, okay? That is the most, the dumbest thing I ever heard, okay? And I, I feel my only sympathy is for the guy that got, hopefully, like I said, they'll reduce the charge. Hopefully, they'll throw away the case. I know people are, are rightly upset at the DA for charging him, okay? And I think he's the self-defense, in my opinion, okay? The guy is attacking you. You have a right to defend yourself, okay? So I think hopefully he gets a good lawyer and they'll dismiss the case, okay? And, you know, you know, you know he can go on his way because he's still going to be traumatized because he had to kill somebody to, to defend himself because over, over a bag of potato chips. That is just the dumbest thing ever, okay? So hopefully that... I'm hoping that he, you know, he can get the right lawyer and they'll, you know, they'll drop the case eventually for that. Or if he has to go to trial, the jury will find him innocent because he's his self defense. That's what his defense would be his self defense because they have the tape of the guy attacking him. Okay, because you know they had cameras in the store, thankfully, so they can show that he was defending himself. So hopefully that case gets dismissed. And and again, a pox to this girl for getting basically getting a guy killed. Okay, to defend her honor. Okay, what a load of crap. Anyway, let me know what you think of this story. Um, feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Above Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Uh, oh, excuse me. A link to my main channel. Excuse me. This is Paul's Views and Opinions. A link to my main channel, Trade Passage, is in the description box. So you can check that out as well. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, um, also, I have a link down below to my patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. Always have my back. And again, my patron's only $5 a month. I have tons of content on there, tons of unedited content on there. Everything from WandaVision to Loki to Hawkeye to Moon Knight to What If, uh, to uh, Titans, Doom Patrol, uh, The Flash Season 8, uh, Star, I uh, said Star Galloway, right? Um, Superman and Lois, uh, The Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian, Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, all four parts of Zack Snyder's Just League. Follow link below to the Patreon and check it out. Also, um, also give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Paul saying so long, and take care.